okay pal I'm gonna do this quickly and normally I just don't spend so much time on one person because I have tons and tons of people asking me questions and I try my best to answer everybody that I can it's just impossible sometimes but I, I want to go ahead and answer your question I, I have been answering some of these questions you're, you're asking over and over again and, and I've been answering but I don't think you're understanding so what I want to do is I'm going to take a look at this code that you just posted this string of code and uh, we're just going to do it one step at a time and I'm going to show you what the computer's doing okay and also you have a mistake in this code and I'm going to show you that too all right when you enable the code that's the first thing you have to do because you got an instruction for enable up here let me uh, put this back there we go so the first thing it's going to do when you enable the code it it jumps right to here it just comes straight down the list and it does an AOB scan module so it's going to scan for these array of bytes and it's looking for this module right here let me uh, mark the page it's going to scan these array of bytes it's going to find this module location right here okay let me uh, delete some of this stuff. There we go. So after it does that, it looks at what you named it right here. H-E-A, here. That is going to be the name of that particular byte. So that's where the computer is going to start in memory. At that location. It's going to go ahead and allocate new memory. It's going to go ahead and register your labels, whatever you call those. And then it's going to go, since you named this here, it's going to jump to that label here, right here. You can name it anything. But whatever you named it, that's where it's going to jump to, and it's going to perform this operation. Okay? The first thing it says right there, let me get rid of that too first thing it says here is jump to new mem so it looks for that label new mem it finds it here so it jumps to new mem it's going to perform whatever operation you have under that label okay so it's going to see that you want to run a comparison it's going to look in the registry of ESI at the shelf location of 298 which is called an offset and it's going to be comparing everything to the value zero that you labeled there. If it it wants to know what you need it to do with it, so it's going to go to here. You gave it a command to jump if not equal to the label of code. So it goes okay. If I see any other addresses there and they don't have the value of zero, it's going to jump to code this label which you named up here which you could have named that anything else if you wanted to you could have changed that whatever you name that it's going to jump to because you told it to right here so it's going to perform this operation if those people or those addresses don't equal zero okay if they do equal zero since they do equal zero it's not going to jump the code it's going to perform this operation however you got a mistake it's going to perform this operation, but you didn't tell it what to do after that, so it's just going to jump down here to code and start performing that operation also. So right underneath here, you need to put a jump return. If not, you need to put jump return. I can't do this with a mouse, sorry. Make sure that you put a jump return there. Okay? Put a jump return and that way it'll just jump to return and just pick up where it left off in the regular memory view if you don't put that jump return after that it's just going to go to the next label and perform that instruction which you just shot yourself in the foot because you got it doing something different to 3c here so put a jump return right here or it won't work or it may not work <clears throat> 
And that's what the computer is doing. It's running these operations exactly the way you told it to. These labels are nothing more than what you named a specific operation. The code label performs this operation right here. The new min label performs this operation right here. All these jumps tell that which or excuse me, which function you won't run. That's what the jumps are for. If it's not equal to zero, I want you to perform this operation. If it is equal to zero, you just keep going down the line and perform this operation. All these labels are is just a different spot of instructions for the computer that you're telling it to jump to run when you use a comparison. Okay? This is this is what you want to happen if they don't equal zero. This is what you want to happen if it does equal zero. You need to put a jump here or it's go always going to perform this right here because you're not telling it to bypass code. Okay? I hope that helps you. And like I say, this is very basic stuff. So if you don't understand it now, if, if it's still confusing to you, you really need to go and, and, and get the basics down because this, you're hitting into intermediate stuff by doing all of this, okay? All of this is intermediate type stuff, and if you don't understand the basics, uh, there, there's really not much I can do for you because you're going to need to go and understand what these basic things are, okay? So I hope that helped you. Oh, and also quickly, I, I wanted to throw this in there too because I think this is confusing you also on uh, this particular type of code right here that you, we had to modify and you're not really sure what it's doing. Let me just show you. I'm just going to copy it down. The very first thing that the computer sees is the command. There are all kind of commands. Right now, you're telling it to move. That means to move a value into something else. Well, you got to give it a place to move, to move a value. So you're telling it to move a value in the registry of ESI. Okay? And you want it to move that value to a specific shelf in that registry, which is 3C. Then you tell it what value you want it to move, which you put as 3E8. Not sure what that value is. I'm not. Uh, hang on a second. Sorry. Oh, here it is right here. Okay. So to find the values, we just look in our hex calculator under programmer. You go to view and make sure it's on programmers. That way you can switch in between hex and decimal. So in hex form, 3E8 is 1,000. But you already knew that. And that's, that's, and that's fine. Always know, whatever operation you do, it's always going to perform this into whatever is on the left side of the comma. So the right side always goes into whatever's on the left. If you tell it to move, it's going to move 1,000 into that registry. If you tell it to add, whatever the value of this is already, whatever the value that is already, it's just going to add 1,000 to that value. And the same thing if you subtract. It's going to subtract this from this. Okay? So, what, so if you tell it to move, Whatever's on the right-hand side of the comma is going to be moved to whatever's in on the left side of the comma, okay? So just to make sure that you understood how that operates, it goes from right, it performs the function from right to left. Instead of, I know we're all used to reading left to right, but the computer reads from right to left. However, it does start with the command first. It reads the command and performs whatever's on the right to the left, okay? And there you go. I hope that's helped you.